Nigeria's former president, Goodluck Jonathan, is about to address delegates in Nigeria's federal capital territory as the major opposition, the People's Democratic Party, kicks off its special non-elective national convention today. Over 3,000 delegates drawn from the six geopolitical zones are attending today's event, which has been described as by party members as a unity gathering of the PDP family. Members of the international community, including representatives of the African Union, are attending today's convention as observers. It's the first major event of the party after the Supreme Court judgment that almost ripped it apart. Meanwhile, this special convention is expected to position the party for the 2019 elections and the number of governorship elections which come up in November. The chairman of the convention committee, Delta State Governor Ifai Okowa, believes the event will be a huge success. Mr. Okowa says major decisions are expected to be made to unite aggrieved members in the wake of new disagreements in the southwest region. It says the convention will also receive the affected members of other parties. Uh, the Ketka Committee uh, tenure is going to be extended today uh, for another period of four months to enable them to conduct congresses uh, in some states where we have issues and also to ensure that we're able to reconcile all factions of the party uh, within the course of these four months. And here in this convention, we're also going to give affirmation to those state congresses and other congresses that have been reasonably done to give affirmation to the, the, to the state escorts and all other escorts that are in such states. Whereas we may have to take some very, uh, some decisions concerning states where we have issues of parallel congresses. Such issues will be discussed at this convention and the convention will take its stand on what to do with such states. The Southwest is going to be prominent in this place. We are aware that in, in the Kitty State, in uh, Ondo State, we don't have issues. Unfortunately, in Oyo State, we have not even conducted any congresses. But for Oku State, for Ocean State, and also uh, uh, Oku State, Ocean State, and Lagos State, some major decisions will be taken at this convention. Anybody who is an accredited delegate will be allowed to enter, and some other persons are going to enter as observers at the convention. You know it's a non-elected convention, so we are not really being extremely restrictive. So those who are not going to be able to enter as former delegates will be allowed in as observers. We cannot rule out any minor issues, but I believe that this convention is going to be a lovely one. It's going to be warm, it's inviting, and we hope that all of us are going to be here as brothers and sisters.